All right, guys, welcome back to another Unity tutorial here. In this tutorial here, I want to talk about changing text color at runtime here. So maybe you have a player that gets to a certain level, maybe something happens in game, where you want to change that text here. So we're not going to do it through the inspector, we're going to do it through a script from here, okay? So let's go ahead and right click here, we're going to UI, and we're going to go to text from here. And we're going to make this a little bigger here. We're going to make sure we can see it here. Let's go centered, let's go centered, let's make the size 80. Let's make this bold and italic here, and let's make this white, okay? Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to save this very quickly here. Make this a little bigger there. Cool. And I'm liking it. I'm going to go to my main camera here. I'm going to change this blue to be like black instead there. And this way we can see the colors a little bit better there too. Okay. Let's go ahead and save this here. I'm going to go to my new script here. And the script is completely blank here. Well, not blank, but it's, you know, the basic boiler, boil, excuse me, boiler plate here. Um, so we're going to say using. And we're going to say uh, unity engine.ui. And I think I spelled that wrong. Unity engine. Cool. And then what we're going to do is let's give it a start and update here. Let's make a public capital T text here and lowercase t. So again, lowercase t text is the name of it. And the capital T text is the type. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a method from here. Let's say public void. And let's say change text color. And let's open this up. So we're going to say text. And we're going to say dot color. I'm going to set this equal to color dot, let's say red from here. Okay. And let's go ahead and save this here. So when I call this method here, let's go ahead and hook up our start method once more here. Start, even though we kind of deleted it, but that's okay here. And let's call this method at the start method here. Call this method from the start method there. It's a weird sentence. But anyways here, let's go ahead and go back to Unity here. And let's go ahead and hit play. And we'll see this text change. Actually, we won't see a change here because I forgot to do two things here. We need to drag the script onto something in scene here. I'm going to do drag onto the canvas from here. And then on the canvas here, we need to assign the text public variable right there. Okay. Now let's hit play. And now we should see it work there. Okay. So now what, what I also want to do here is let's, let's hook this up to a button here. So we're going to go UI. And we're going to make a button from here. Button. And let's make it a little bit bigger there. One, two. And go ahead and drag this down here. And we can say, let's make this text a little bigger here. Oops, come on now. 82 big here, size 50. Cool, bold and italic. Liking that here. Let's make this text box a little smaller. Cool, just so it's not in the way there. Let's save this here. Let's go back to our script here. Let's change, let's go to this, get rid of the start method from here. And this method right here is going to be hooked up to the button, okay? So let's save this here. And let's go back to Unity. And let's go to the button uh yes the button here go ahead and hit plus for the on click method from here let's drag in canvas because that contains the script from there drag that down to new script here i'm going to say change text color okay and again this might be useful if you have a player that's unlocked a certain item or maybe they get to a certain score here something happens that they hit the button there and they want to change the text back and forth or maybe they don't have enough coins in their bank account or something like that let's hit play and then if we hit the button, we see the check, the text changes color to red there. So great job in this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, it was a pretty basic tutorial here, but hopefully it helped you guys out here. Be sure to give me a like, comment, and subscribe if you guys liked it. If you guys really like it, we go a lot more in depth with Unity and AWS and setting up SQL uh, databases and NoSQL and S3 and stuff like that in my Udemy courses. Uh, links are in the description down below. Great job, guys, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take it easy.